Welcome to Hey Dr. Sue. So people submit their sex questions to me anonymously, and once a week I post one question and one answer. Do you have a sex question you've always wanted answered? Go ahead and check out the description for information on how to submit it anonymously. This week's question is, do most women consider flirting, cheating? For right now, let's remove the gender piece of this question, since I think that what someone considers cheating is less about their gender and more about their own values and personal experiences. The problem with defining cheating is that there's no one definition. People might say that it's when you have sex with someone outside of your, of your relationship. But let's get away from actual physical contact with someone else, because for many people, that's a necessary requirement for something to be considered cheating. Let's talk about emotional cheating. If you're sharing your deep, dark secrets and desires with someone other than your partner, is that cheating? Does it matter if it's done over drinks? Does it matter if it's done by text? I know one person who said that cheating is when you do something you need to hide from your partner. Others have said that cheating depends on the motive for their behavior. And that's a really good segue to talking about flirting. Flirting may be seen as an open invitation to see what comes next, so some people do consider that cheating since you've emotionally opened up a door to doing more with someone. For others, it depends on why the flirting is happening. Are they looking for validation that other people find them attractive? Or are they flirting with the hostess so they can get a better table at a restaurant? I've had students say that their partner could flirt all they want as long as there was a benefit to both of them. So in that situation with flirting with the hostess for a better table, that would be totally acceptable and not considered cheating. But here's where it can get confusing, because if my partner is cool with me flirting in front of them in one scenario, why would I think they wouldn't be okay with it in another? The biggest issue is not only do we all have our own personal definitions of cheating, but that we also tend not to talk to our partners about these definitions, at least not until after a line gets crossed. What I've noticed and what some research supports is that women are more likely to see flirting and emotional violations as cheating, while men are more likely to think that some kind of physical contact needs to be present for something to be cheating. I've written another article about this, and I've included that link in the description if you want to go ahead and take a read. Until next time, be safe and have fun. Did you like that video? Check out the description to find out about other ways to contact me, including Instagram, Twitter, and Substaff. And remember to like and subscribe.